guys. So today we are going to make this adorable newborn pillow for newborn photography props. And what we are going to need for this project is some Hobby Lobby Tender Touch yarn. This is Dove. I got this on sale because the lot, I guess, was going out. So um, you don't have to use the Tender Touch. You could use any yarn that's a five bulky. And we will actually be using size 11 knitting needles. We are going to go up a size. You could actually go up two sizes um, if it's easier for you because this is such a tight stitch. So we are going to use size 11 eight millimeter knitting needles. We will also need some yarn needles to sew in our ends and three buttons or however many buttons you want to use. Some scissors and a pillow insert that you've already made. And if you haven't seen that video, then go here on how to make your little pillow insert. And I also have um, a way to make a no sew pillow cover in with that video. So we are gonna jump right into the herringbone stitch. If you don't know how to do the herringbone stitch, I have a more in-depth tutorial here. I have, um, have a continental version that I do because I do a Russian speed knitting. And then I also have the English version here. So depending on how you like to knit, I have those there. And we are going to jump right in. All right guys, so for this project, we are gonna cast on 68 stitches. Um, you can use whatever kind of needles you want, but I'm just using um, the circular needles because it's more stitches than normal, I guess. I don't know, I just am. So anyway, we're gonna get about four feet of yarn, what if maybe five feet, six feet of yarn, um, to do our stretchy cast on. And the way we do that is just like we do our long tail cast on, we just use two needles. So you make your V, upside down V, make your diamond shape, take the yarn closest to you on your thumb, take the, the yarn closest to you on your pointer finger and bring it through, okay? And if you want a more in-depth um, video on that, you can go here. So we've got two and we are gonna go to 68 and meet me back here for row one. Now that we have 68, we are gonna start with our herringbone stitch. So we take our needle and we knit through the back loops. So there's the back view, we go like that and pull it around, knock one stitch off, leave the other one on. There's the front view. We're still knitting through the back, I just want to show you different angles. Okay, bring it around, knock one stitch off. Now this is a very tight knit. So I tried to pull and make some room while I'm doing this because if we don't, then, so I try to judge it this way. If we don't make room, then when we go to knit row two, you'll see how extremely hard this will be. So just go through two on the back, pull it through and off. Now, I did a more in-depth video on the herringbone stitch here, uh, if you'd like to go and check that out. If not, meet me back here at row two. If you already know how to do the herringbone stitch, then you will just continue your herringbone stitch for approximately five inches, um, four to six inches. It really just depends on your particular pillow form. So meet me back here, everybody else, at row two. Okay guys, we're at the last two, so we are going to knit them, take one off, and then we're just going to knit that last one by itself. Okay, then we are going to turn our work around. Okay guys, so now we're going to purl. Um, so 
the way I purl is I go through these first two, pull it through, knock the stitch off, okay? And this is why I knit through the back loop to begin with. Um, so if you are knitting English style, then you actually would purl this way. Let me see. Okay, yeah, and then come around. Knock your stitch off. All right, guys, so we're at the end of row two, and we basically purl our last one there, and then we'll just purl the last one by itself, okay? Um, so we're actually gonna do this for about five to six inches, depending on how big your pillow form is. Um, so it depends on how big you've made that. So if you haven't made a pillow form, then I suggest you watch this video here on a no so little pillow for newborn babies. So anyway, um, so yeah, your first row, just to clarify, you knit whichever way it is that you knit the whole row, the herringbone stitch, then you purl how it is that you purl the herringbone stitch, whether it be English or continental, knit, purl, knit, purl. So we go back and forth uh, for about five to six inches. All right, guys, it looks like we are where we need to be. So let's see, this is gonna be um, sewed in together with the other end. So we need to make sure it's long enough, for, I mean, wide enough for that and this side too. So now we are going to bind off knit wise um, and I'll show you how to do that right quick. So basically when you bind off with the herringbone stitch we're going to knit the way we knit before. You take the two, drop one stitch off, once again knit through two, drop one stitch off, okay? Then we're just going to take this stitch here on the bottom and bring it over that stitch there, okay? Then we go through, knit, drop our stitch, and then we, once again, take it over here, okay, knit through. Drop our stitch. Maybe, this is the worst thing for me to do <laughs> in this type of um, angle. So anyway, you just keep doing that until the end of the row and then meet me back here. All right guys, so we are now done with our last edge here, um, our with uh, our last binding off. So we are just going to cut enough yarn we're going to sew our edges together here. So probably need about maybe three feet of yarn. We're going to cut off. Maybe longer, maybe about five feet. And we are going to sew our edges. So we take our yarn needle. Just turn your work right side up and then meet the ends up oh, I'm sorry goodness meet the ends up here now the way I you can you can sew this in how you want to um, I want to leave a little bit of a flap to come over the pillow um, for buttons 
So I put some buttons here and then the flap is going to flap over like that, which I think would be really, really cute. So I am going to sew it up according to that. If you want your buttons at the end, then you would take it all the way to the end like that. I don't want to do that, so we are going to start down here. Now one thing to note is if it's curling in, you need to make sure and curl it back out because you're going to want to go through the entire part where you've bound off and where you cast it on. So you can see how the stitches look different there. Okay. So that's basically it. So we're going to sew this side and this side, and then we're going to get our buttons and sew them on as well. So meet me back here once you have sewn your edges up. Okay guys, so all we have to do now is add our buttons. Let me show you where I added them to. Look how adorable that is though. So basically, we didn't make any buttonholes, but the um, edges of this uh, stitch um, are very stretchy, so that's okay. Okay, so we add our buttons to this edge here so that we can fold the flap over. And that's all we have to do. And we are now done with our cute little pillow. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please make sure and subscribe. Also, sharing is caring. So if you share my video in um, photography prop groups and places like that, it really helps me out or share with a friend that might need this. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications and I will see you guys next time. Bye, my babes.